We're here to make some whiskey. We're today doing something pretty special. We're working with Big Red to do a custom bourbon. Um, a lot of the distilleries down in Kentucky will let you come in and pick a barrel of bourbon that they've already made um, and you can bring it back to your store and it's a special bottling. What we've done is taken that a step further and actually let them pick what goes into the bourbon. So uh, they've picked uh, some wheat and barley and rye and mostly corn because it's got to be at least 51% corn. That's something that uh, no one else has ever done before. They've picked their own mash bill. We've never actually said right from the beginning, here's a mash bill that we want to do. It's unique to this product. Here's an aging regimen that we want to do. It's unique to this particular product. You're just controlling more parts of the process and you're influencing the final flavor. You're making more decisions on how that, that final product's going to taste. Another cool thing is they've invited some of their customers in to help us make it. We've actually let the customers throw some of the grain into the cooker, uh, which is a lot of fun. They can come to a working distillery like this, they can see the process in action, they can smell the aromas, not just of the product, but they can smell the grain, they can smell the mash, they can smell it as it comes off the still. All those different things that get combined to make what is the final product, which is a really, um, it's a really good thing to experience them individually as elements because then when you taste the final product, you can remember back, you've got those memories of, of what you smelled and what you saw when you were here. A big part of this day is also about creating this incredible experience for the customers. A lot of them have done distillery tours before because these are like the true whiskey fans, but none of them have thrown grain into a mash tun. None of them have signed a barrel as the whiskey is going into it. After today, they will have two full barrels of bourbon, um, and they're gonna leave it here. We're gonna mature it here on site at the distillery. It's our bonded warehouse. Um, and they're gonna bring their customers in every few months to actually taste it and see how it's maturing. And eventually, they're gonna start pulling that off. We're gonna bottle it for them, and we'll start selling it. But with whiskey, it's, it's more of an art than a science, so they're gonna actually come in every few months and Probably in, you know, at month six or month 12, they'll decide, okay, this is really good, let's bottle some. They might do that for the first barrel and then let the other barrel sit for two years. I think that, that people like to connect with those who are making the product, and that's the biggest thing. It's about these people, you know, it's about the distiller, it's about Doug and Phil and Adam and all those guys. I mean, when you know those people and then you taste their product six months from now, you'll remember that experience that you had.